as women, we are selfish, we are self-centered, and we are manipulative. And here's the thing, we want our husband to have boundaries. We want them to follow the boundaries. Yep. But as soon as it's it, we're asked to be held accountable to those boundaries, we want to do what we want. <laughs> we don't, we hold the double standard. You need to follow this boundary, but I don't have to. Women don't want to change themselves because women don't want to do the work. Because change is hard. Change is tough. Change requires you to look within yourself to see what it is that you're doing wrong and then course correct because a lot of your inability to change comes directly from your childhood what's going on everybody and welcome back to another video don't forget, hit that like button on your way in. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content. You know what we're going to do. Yep. Roll that clip. And what I've learned about myself as a woman and working with other women, we are not good at keeping our word. Got them. We fucking got them. <laughs> and following through with our word. We lack integrity and we lack character with ourselves. Think about it for the women watching and who are open to hearing my message. Think about how poorly we keep our word to ourselves when we say we are gonna do something, when we say we're gonna change something in our lives or we're gonna do something differently. We don't keep our word to ourselves. We're the first person to break our own promises to. So how are we supposed to follow through with our husbands or a partner to keep our word to them? I'm just going to start by saying this woman is 100% right, and I'm glad it's a woman saying that. Yep. See, it's not just men that say this, ladies. It's women. How can you hold a man accountable, or how can you expect a man to do something and you don't even do it yourself? Lack of accountability and the need to be right. This is the reason why you're single. You want everybody around you to be better, but you don't even want to be good yourself. You would rather destroy someone's life than be accountable for your part in it. You would rather watch the world burn. Some men just want to watch the world burn everything burns then to take one little ounce of accountability see this is the type of thing we're talking about ladies is that ladies y'all want a man to be built y'all want a man to take you as you are but you're not even the best version of yourself possible you want a man to put up with your attitude, your nagging, your delusional thoughts, your more attitude, talking back, fighting, disagreeing, not letting a man lead, not letting a man be a man. You don't let a man be a man. You don't want to work on your single. So you want a cookie cutter high in the sky we made it relationship and you contribute nothing you want a relationship that other people want to be in and other people want to model their relationship after yours you don't want to do the work it takes to fix yourself to get that type of relationship you want a man to accept you for who you are. But would you date you? No. Nope. 90% of women wouldn't even date themselves. You wouldn't even date you. They want the man to make all the money. They want the man to do all the changing. They want the man to elevate his life. They want the man to bring home the bacon. Now, I'm not saying as a man, you shouldn't elevate your life. But if your woman is not elevating her life, 
then she's doing something wrong. See, a relationship is a partnership. You are a partner. You work with this person. You grow with this person. But the modern woman doesn't understand what a partnership is. See, women don't want to change themselves because women don't want to do the work. Because change is hard. Change is tough. Change requires you to look within yourself to see what it is that you're doing wrong and then course correct. I used to believe that change was easy and I used to tell people, yeah, change is easy. It's easy. No, I was mistaken. Change is hard. A lot of you ladies need therapy. But a lot of you ladies need extensive therapy. Y'all need trauma therapists. Y'all don't need regular therapy. Y'all need trauma therapy. Because a lot of your inability to change comes directly from your childhood. You saw your mother. You saw your grandmother. You saw women in your family. You saw how they treated men and you thought it was okay. Then you get out into the real world and then you emulate what they taught you. And then when you have a daughter, you're teaching your daughter to do the same thing. Because the definition of insanity is what? Doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. And a lot of you ladies are insane. You're insane because you keep doing the same thing over and over again. And see, you have a learned behavior. A lot of you are so traumatized that you don't even know that your behavior is toxic. You think it's normal. You think it's normal to yell at a man. You think it's normal to disrespect. You think it's normal to not cook or clean. You think it's normal to do all of this reckless stuff. But then you want to turn around and say, I'm single. I need a man. Somebody love me. But then on social media, you post that you want a man to pay. Um, if a man doesn't pay, he is not going to talk to you. You want to date the local hoodlum and drug dealer and scammer. You are the average of the five people that you hang around with. So if you spend the most time with losers and women that don't have a man, that talk bad about men, that hate men, that don't want to be in a relationship, if all your friends are single, congratulations, you're going to be single. If all your friends are broke, congratulations, you're going to be broke. If all your friends are losers, chances are you're going to be a loser. Show me the five people that you hang around with the most, and I will tell you where you're going to be at five to ten years from now. You are who you hang around. Birds of a feather flock together. That's why you see a bunch of bitter, lonely, black women around a bunch of bitter, lonely, black women. You see four happy people, there's going to be a fifth. You see four broke people, there's always going to be a fifth. Always remember that you are who you hang around. And if you're the smartest person in the room, then you need to go into another room. In order for you to have success in life, you have to create your own success, which means holding yourself accountable and changing the way you think, the way you move, and the way you act. And then and only then will you get success in the dating market. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know every time I upload content.
You're going to see me right after this at the end screen. Go ahead and click on that next video, and that's where you'll find me. And until the next video, peace.